Hi, I'm Stephanie Moscato and welcome to the ECAP Beat. Give us two minutes and we'll give you all things Easton. From the daily calendar, on Tuesday, May 1st, the Affordable Housing Trust Board of Trustees will meet at 5.30 p.m. in the Mary Connolly Room at Town Hall. At 6.30 p.m., the Board of Appeals will meet in the Selectman's Room at Town Hall. On Wednesday, May 2nd, the Finance Committee meets at 7 p.m. at Town Hall on Elm Street. Also on Wednesday the 2nd, at the Ames Free Library, the Halcyon Winds Quintet will perform at 7 p.m. And the next day, May 3rd, at the Ames Free Library, the Thursday Knitters Group will meet at 5.30 p.m. And now the news from the blogosphere. Easton Journal and Wicked Local Report, a preliminary spending plan for next year, restores two firefighters and a police officer, while funding two central dispatchers and capital items. Town Administrator David Colton said a spike in state aid and strong gains in excise tax revenue, combined with a decreased health care costs and a drop in assessment to Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School, helped balance the budget. But he warned against stretching the budget too far, saying don't bet on the same savings next year. And here's something to look forward to. The 2012 annual meeting of the Easton Historical Society will be held on Sunday, May 6th. The meeting will begin at 3 p.m. at Oaks Ames Memorial Hall in North Easton. Oaks Ames Memorial Hall is handicap accessible. The afternoon will begin with a short business meeting. Following the business portion of the meeting, you will be treated to a presentation of The Haunted History of New England by Professor Christopher Daly. Don't miss it. This has been the ECAP Beat. Tune in every day for the latest in what's going down in Shoveltown.